What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I am your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammock, a.k.a. Mental Illness from TikTok, Mental Illness from Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, everywhere. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, I am a diagnosed narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. The point of this platform is to bring awareness to cluster B personality disorders, mental health issues, get more people into therapy, and also, in the process, validate the victims and survivors of you know mental health abuse and things of that nature. I've been in therapy for five for four years, so that's what I know it might blow your mind. He said, "No narcissist can be self-aware." It's kind of bad. I'm telling y'all, I hear it all the time. I get it. I understand, but I don't know what to tell you. I've been in therapy for four years. I've been in psychotherapy, even though I'm not a psychopath. Today's episode is going to be about why the narcissist ghost you you know i know y'all oh my goodness I, I keep saying this i know that anybody can ghost you just because a person ghosts you does not mean that they are narcissists this ghosting episode is going to be about the narcissists that actually ghost you the narcissists that do it this is what this episode is going to be about and that then that's it that's all i can tell you right there this episode is going to be about the narcissist ghosting you and we're going to go from there so one reason that the narcissist ghosts you is because, you know, they might be done with the relationship. That's the that's the form of the discard. That's the final discard sometimes. The ghosting is the final discard. Because sometimes when a narcissist ghosts you, that's point blank period it. They don't have the courage and the strength to tell you um, goodbye. They just disappear on you because that's, that's what they feel like you deserve. You know what I mean? So the narcissist will ghost you in that way and they won't, like, they'll just move on. And, you know. And I know that sucks, but like sometimes they just they just do it. They or they embarrass they like they moved on to somebody else, and they or it might be somebody that you know, you know, and they don't they're embarrassed to tell you about it, you know. So they just keep it to themselves, or they just feel like they don't need to tell you, you know what I mean? So that's one reason why the narcissist can ghost you. Another reason that the narcissist ghosts you is to is to not provide you closure, to leave the relationship kind of open, you know, so they can come back, you know what I mean? So sometimes the narcissist will ghost you with the th with the thought process of being able to come back into your life. If I don't give this person closure, I can reach out to them at any time, break break the ghosting. You know, when they ghost you, they block you on everything, they disappear on everything, they don't text you back, they don't call you, they don't do anything. So it's like complete ghosting. So if they block you, that means they have the ability to unblock you on most platforms. Um, and you can't block them back. I think on Facebook, you can block them back. On TikTok, you can block them back. And on Instagram, I know you can't even find a profile. On Twitter, I don't know. But I just know uh, Snapchat, same thing. So they can unblock you at any time and message you, message you at any time and you know pick things up. Hey, sorry. And when they do that, like when they ghost you with the thought process of coming back, um, a lot of times they'll reach out to you on some BS and say, hey, sorry, uh, my cat died. Some just extravagantly false, you know, false pretenses on ghosting you like hey I'm, hey sorry my cat died or whatever i just wanted to you know i had to take some time to myself and figure out you know figure out what i wanted to do and if this is what i really wanted after my cat died so yeah i'm, I'm here i'm sorry i know i know that's not not any way for a person to leave or um to leave you hanging but here i am i'm, I'm back please forgive me or they i say or they ghost you with the thought process like they ghost you and they come back because they the relationship that they left you for didn't work out the relationship that they left you for failed and they thought you know and that's the that's the kind of the, the narcissistic you know mindset that grass is always green on the other side like even though a narcissist will have a good situation at home they, uh, or in life or in a job or anything it's not just with relationships y'all it's like not intimate relationships this was like a, any kind of relationship a narcissist is in any kind of like parenting uh but siblings whatever friendships whatever sometimes a narcissist the, the situation will be good but you know the narcissist will always think that it could be better. It's like, damn, we can make this better. Like, this is good and all, but that person over there might fit me better. So let me ghost the person I'm with to try to make it work with this new person. And when you when they realize that the grass isn't greener, they'll break the ghosting. They'll break. They'll unblock you, and they'll reach out to you. And you will not. And most times, you won't know that they even were even in another relationship. They'll just make up some, like I said, some kind of fantastical lie. And because you, as a human being, never received that closure, now you want to talk to them to see what really happened. You want to get, you know, you want to reach out. You want to actually, you'll actually entertain that conversation to see what really happened. You'll actually see what's going on in their life. You know what I mean? You actually reach out. You actually sit, have a sit down with them, and then you get hoovered back into the relationship. So a ghosting from a narcissist. I know, like I say again, y'all. Let me repeat this again. I know everybody that ghosts you is not a narcissist. I know. I'm making that clear. I, I'll see it in the comment section anyway. 
hey, just because somebody ghosts you doesn't mean you're there. Nurses, duh. I'm saying it right now. Everybody that ghosts you is not a narcissist. But when a narcissist ghosts you, it's sometimes it's to prevent you from having that closure. Like the, the relationship is like still open. Like it's like having a book, and on the last page of the chapter, the last page of the book, you don't close the book, so you don't know the ending. You, the narcissist, know they know that. You know that there's no ending, so you're like, uh, I don't know what to do. Like I've been ghosted. Like you reach out to your friends and family. You try to, you know, you try to reach out to the narcissist. You might pop up at their job if you live close enough. You might text and email and whatever. You and you know. You, you know, and so, sometimes when a narcissist ghosts you to be, to be in another relationship, you act, you reaching out and doing all that stuff is, you know, they'll show that to the next person. Like, look, I told you, we, we I tried to end it on good terms with this person and, you know, it didn't work out. And then, look, they are, they're still obsessed with me. And you drive them closer together unknowingly. It, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I just know this from experience in real life. And I'm, I'm doing my one-on-ones. This story keeps coming up all the time. Like I just got ghosted. They, the narcissist ghosted me, and like, I don't know what to do. Like, what do I do? Why did I get ghosted? Well, and I just tell them. I tell everybody like you're just looking for that closure, because ghosting is you know just a form of it's like you like putting the relationship on pause sometimes. Like I said, sometimes y'all I know it could be the final discard. It could be, and there's no really no there's really no way of telling. It, the both 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 examples in this scenario right here dictate that you just move on with your life. And if somebody ghosts you like that, you you know. Unless they died or something like that, and if they still alive and they ghosted you, it should dictate that you just this time to just trying to find somebody else or just move on and be comfortable, or be just be happy by yourself. You don't have to find somebody else. Let me rephrase that. Um, but just yeah, you can't just hover sit on sit around and wait on them to reach out to you because it could take a very long time for them to unghost you. I talked to a woman today. He had like a three like a two three week ghosting cycle where he would ghost her for three weeks. And then he would reach out to her every three weeks. And like today, like she said, today I spoke to her. She said she had spoken to him in like two and a half weeks. And guess what? As soon as we finished the one-on-one, I got an email from him. She's like, I just got a missed call from him. And I told her, I was like, because he's out here doing what he wants to do. Um, and then when it's time, like when he feel, when he realizes it's not working out or he, or he you know, thinks he can come back, he'll just reach out to you. He literally will just reach out to you on, on just on, some, on a whim. Just say, hey, look. Uh, sorry, this happened. Some, like I said, and he used to get the most fantastical excuses. This man told her he had got adopted by somebody, and, and it was all kinds of crazy stuff. And his sister, was, you know, his sister was like, he, "He's not adopted. He told you that, you know what I mean? He he told you that he 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 was adopted. They, that's a lie." And his sister told her, told her that he was lying. So I'm just like, it's a confusing thing right there. Like, so if a narcissist ghosts you, if you think they are a narcissist, then they ghost you. If you can't get it, reach out to their family and see what's going on. Uh, to get some closure like oh he moved on or oh she moved on or she found somebody else or something like that um, then you it's hard to I know it's hard to process and that's the point though that's the point of the ghosting it's hard to process and like you know you feel like you deserve some finality to the relationship and because you feel like you deserve that finality if they do decide to reach out a month later two months later three months later and you haven't like processed it and gave yourself that closure then the relationship has not really ended and then you'll be back sucked back into the relationship like nothing happened with the thought of with the thought of being like with the thought in the back of your head that this person could ghost you again you know what i mean like that person can like literally pick up one day and ghost you again and then what, what would you do and what, what would you do and it's like a lot of times so ghosted is also you know a form of rejection and i'm gonna do a whole nother episode on this but, but you know rejection breeds obsession not just with the narcissist um if you reject the narcissist but like if a narcissist rejects you or if anybody rejects you i know y'all but if a narcissist rejects you then you sometimes you and like by ghosting you if you get rejected by the ghosting then you become you know you don't you become obsessed with wanting to know why a lot of times you just want to know why like what did i do wrong like how how can i fix this like how can i be a better person so i won't get ghosted next time how can i be a better person to be back in this relationship with you you're wondering all these questions. You're asking all these questions and things like that because you got rejected. Now, you, the, the, through the ghosting, you've been rejected through the ghosting, that you become obsessed with trying to figure out the answer. And, like, the, the obsession sometimes, like, they will literally drive you crazy. You'll be driving to that person's house or that person's job or blowing them up, calling them from some different people's phones, looking at their looking at their social medias from your friends' accounts, your kids' accounts, all kinds. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm telling you, I've heard all these stories. It will have you looking at your family, look, looking at their account from your family's account. Hey, can you hey can you check Lee's uh, Lee ghost to me? Can you check all his uh, stuff? He blocked me. Can you check and see what he's doing, please? Because like this is not right. I got ghosted. You know what I mean? So and ghosting is is just the thing. That, it's just the thing nowadays, y'all. It literally just is. And I hate I say I hate that it's part of society today. But like a narcissist or anybody who ghosts you can come back at any time. 
because they are the ones that did all the blocking. They are, they mean they, they can do all the unblocking. And then I say, like I said again, like you want answers. Like you are a human being. You are a normal human being, and you want answers to why, like you 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 think you weren't good enough. Like why was why wasn't I good enough? Like you know you like why wasn't I good enough to do this? Why wasn't I good enough to be in this relationship? Why was why was why didn't I deserve at least a goodbye? Like a human being, why did not deserve to break? It? Why did, why can we just break about amicable terms? You want all these questions answered, and the only person that can provide those answers is the narcissist. And a lot of times they won't give it to you um, until they're ready to give it to it, or they might not ever be ready. They might just not give it to you. So that's why I say closure is something you you know it ties into the closure thing. Like closure is something that you have to give to yourself because you know they will come back and tell you all kinds of fantastical lies, and a lot of times like the lies is just be so outrageous, y'all, and like. Because you won't answer so bad, you'll sit there and listen to them. And then they'll hit you with the word salad, lie, 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 lie compound lies. And they'll, they'll sprinkle in a little bit of the truth. And that little bit of the truth will turn into, like, will explode into something way bigger than what it's supposed to be. That little smidge of truth will turn into something that way bigger than it literally is supposed to be. Like, how, why am I believing this? You know, but like, I'm here. And this person I loved and cared about is like still here. I didn't, you know, you can't, like, you as a human being, you can't turn your feelings off. You know what I mean? You literally cannot turn your feelings off. So you, like I said, you're sitting there want, wanting these answers, and you're probably still in love. You probably got some anger and hate in your heart right now for this person, or some disdain, some disdain for this person. But you're more than likely still in love with them. You know what I mean? So it's just like you, and you can finally get to see this person after however long the ghosting is. Of course, those feelings are still going to be there, and they're going to like, and face to face. After they ghost you, they'll always, after they ghost you and they reach back out to you, they'll always want to get you face to face. You know why? Because it's harder to look at me in my face and say no than it is over text message, than it is over the phone call, than it is over FaceTime and things like that. It's harder to look me, look the person you love for however long in the face and reject them, even after they rejected you by ghosting you. It's harder. So that's why they want to get you to in your face to give you closure. You know, sometimes they want to get you to sit down and get you face to face and you go there with that. The, you know, you go there with the goal in mind of getting your closure, but you end up back into a relationship <laughs> or thinking about getting back into a relationship. You leave like even more confused than you were before. Like, okay, I didn't get my closure, and now I think we're dating again? Question mark. You know, so like I said again, closure is that thing that you have to, you literally have to give yourself closure. Nobody else can provide that to you, nobody else can give that to you. Like, when you get ghosted, I know it's, one of, it's a terrible thing. Like, Find out what you can, possibly from a friend or something like that, but then you got to keep it moving because if you don't, you, you'll be stuck. I'm telling you, you'll be stuck in this perpetual cycle of being getting ghosted and, you know, talking to them, getting ghosted, talking to them, getting ghosted, talking to them, and you'll just be like, you know, you'll waste years and years of your life. And you know what? That narcissist will not care about wasting your time at all because they feel like you are a willing participant in this. You could, like, when I ghosted you, you could have chose to move on with your life, but no, guess what? You chose to come back here and restart this relationship. They did get ghosted again. So they feel like they have no, you know, they feel like they are not responsible for you feeling like you wasted your time because you are a willing participant in this. So you have to take heed in that because they do not care. A narcissist does not care about wasting your time because they feel like, hey, you were here too. You were, here, you were an adult. You could have said no and moved on with your life, but guess what? You decided to stay. So you are in this with me. We are in this together. So this is your fault. Don't blame me for you wasting your time. And as, as harsh as that sounds, that's 100% how they feel. And they will look you dead in your eye and say that. Face to face like they do. You know what I mean? But anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning into this episode. I'm popping up. Like, so this month, I'm doing, a, doing at least one video, one podcast a day. For the month of July, my birthday month, I'll be, I'll be turning 36. I'm a cancer. If y'all are wondering about that, July 14th, 1985, I'm a cancer. So... I'll be pumping out. I'm gonna try to do two videos a day, two podcasts a day, just to see how we can do. It's like it's hard for me to have topics, so leave some topic suggestions in the comments section, please. Some good topics, like the scientific explanations, some stuff that you feel like you need a scientific explanation for. I can't help you on that type of stuff. You know, I'm more realistic, real life situations, um, real life dynamics. I can't help you with the scientific explanation behind different things. Like, why does the narcissist ghost me with, you know? And X plus Y equals Z. This is the, I can't help you with that. You, and I know that's a terrible example right there, but you know what I mean. I cannot get too scientific with it. I'm just a realist. I'm just a human being. No, I'm not stupid by any means, you know. But I just don't. Yeah, you know, that's just not me. 
But uh, anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I really, truly appreciate each and every single one of you. Um, leave the suggestions in the comment section because this one came like this one came from a one on one today. I did a one on one. I uh, did a one on one today, and she said, "Can you do one on ghosting?" I was like, "Yes, thank you. I would do one." That's my topic for today: ghosting. I wrote it down, and here we are. So thank you, Miss uh, Lady. But thank y'all again. Say, really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank y'all again. Peace.